Welcome back, gentlemen, to Let's Play, or well, Let's Read, Fake Granddaughter. Uh, we still don't have access to... I am going... You know, let, let's... So, this is actually super important if you're playing the game. There are support units. Do not leave Mashu as your main support unit. Uh, I'm going to put Q as my main. Uh, probably the Lily... This is what the other pe other people can use. Um, the fuck is going on? That was weird. Throw a look at Darius. What's he do? Uh, golden rule, MP gain, a health up, and battle continuation isn't terrible. Happy damage to uh, AOE. Three busters. He's not awful, although NP gain up on a Berserker with three buster cards and only one arts card doesn't really help anyone. Um, he might be better than her, but the thing about this chick is A, uh, she's cute, B, we get one, we will get another one within the story and be able to make her into MB2. But if you don't do this, then no one will be your friend. Uh, you should also set. Um, let's just get a bust card. No, we want to go. Not arts. Did I not have. Oh, whatever. I'll do that. Doesn't matter so much because everything we have is crap. Uh, we did you have? I can't remember whether he's quick or. Uh, I think it's quick, right? No, oh, he's got a lot of arts, so I will give him projection. And this guy can have that card. It's not very useful on him, but we're just sort of throwing anything on anyone. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, that gives her one turn MP. It's not awful. That's not worthwhile. Whatever. We have a garbage lineup here. The likes of which no one's gonna friend us over. But hey, it is what it is. We should try and get this. I just want to get a at least one strong friend unit so that I can farm EXP easily. A heroic spirit. Oh, she. Okay. Uh, a heroic spirit is someone who left a last lasting impact through their deeds, and the planet basically contracted them to defend itself. And then something called a Holy Grail co opted that link to summon them to fight over a magical trinket that there seems to be a lot more of than you'd think. And yeah, so that most of them will refer to themselves by their class container name because they don't want to be like, oh, I'm Achille uh, Achilles. Achilles. God fucking damn it, brain. I'm Achilles. Fear me, I'm invincible! And then you're like, yeah, but the whole ankle thing is pretty well known. Shank, and you're dead. There's a class triangle, it'll become more important later. It's fairly rudimentary until suddenly, a year and a half down the track, it becomes a fucking impossible nightmare. So Q starts off with the, uh, one of his two main survival abilities, Battle Continuation. 
Sometimes when people die, they aren't. Sorry, sometimes when people are killed, they don't die. We've sort of got a semi decent quick party going with this lineup. Uh, so that's nice. For some reason. For some reason, the game is not at double speed. Now it is. Uh, probably was a. Uh, nope. My units are so weak that it wasn't. She's actually quite cute in her uh, sprite. I don't like her art that much, but her sprite's fine. This is when I want to see. Kudog being Kudog. Studying the shit out of me. Enemy. If you do three quicks in a row, you get critical stars, which give you more chance to critical on the next turn. Each servant container, that is like Lancer, Assassin, Archer, etc., um, has a different absorption rate. As you can see, uh, the archer stole a lot more than. Is that right? Archers, archers must be higher than Lancer, who's higher than Assassin. I thought Assassins had high absorption. Ah, whatever. Uh, obviously, bringing the archer into this fight wasn't necessarily a great idea as all the enemies are lancers and we're weak against them but it's not going to matter so now if i use this it oh they've called it critical star gather rate and it's not critical absorption but she's <laughs> you can actually see who gets to act and she didn't get to act so using that skill right there was a bit of a waste uh, q didn't even q didn't even learn crit on his thing. And that's basically how these go. Later on uh, battles get a lot harder but for now it's easy breezy lemon etc. Uh, I may get to the point where I skip battle sequences. We're not at that point yet. So, uh, see. Uh, you know what he would Mystic Taurus would be a decent friend unit to have. She's not grumpy, she's just a total crank. Yeah. <laughs> Let me nuzzle into your lap, I guess, is my answer to that. I feel like this is a Japanese thing that doesn't translate well, literally. I, 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 alligators, I guess alligators are, like they look like logs, they're ambush predators, but at the same time... Praise Kohai. So she blushes cutely. <laughs> she isn't a villain, but she's evil. I think that perhaps should be she is ruthless ruthless would make a lot more sense i'm sorry but my face is tired the translation legitimately does get better outside of the tutorial i'm not sure why the prologue area has such a bad translation the translation remains awful don't get me wrong 
but it gets better. And that's not a bad little thing that we're about to hit up. Should kill one of them at least. With an extra attack here. I'm not really used to uh, having to fight this hard. I'll go with Q. Q. Well, that, even though, again, we're fighting lances with, a, with an archer, which isn't ideal. But they're weak enough that the, the triangle doesn't matter that much at this point in the game. The way that these cards work is each of your units have uh, five cards, which are then shuffled into a deck. Every turn, five cards are drawn randomly from that deck. After three turns, the deck is remade and reshuffled. So you see over three turns every single one of their, their cards. Um, it's simple, but until later on in the game, the information is not particularly useful. Oh, hey, we've got a got a saber actually, so our uh, archer's going to be strong against him. Um, later on in the game, there are certain characters for whom paying attention to what cards have been drawn in the last like two turns, one turn, is important. Uh, for skill usage and various things, uh, but especially with the current team we've got, there's not a lot of point counting any of that stuff. I'm just gonna keep trying to send uh, send that friend request. Maybe someone will say yes. Unfortunately, we're not gonna get much friend uh, friend uh, exp from um, friend points rather because no one's going to summon our units, because our units aren't the best. Our units are sufficient for the story, but they're not particularly strong. Hmm. That's rather unfortunate. Her magic uh, circuits are garbage. Family line is over. So, she's incredibly insecure, <laughs> is what he's saying. Forgive her her, like, little childish outbursts. Saints Courts. What have we got here? Recommend a level 2. Should be. F we should have the materials to get everyone up to level 2 that we use. Uh, if you're playing the game, this is not really the way to do it. Hell, we're probably going to be forced to go to a higher level. Is it even possible to get to level 2? The answer is no. It is not under any circumstances possible to get to level 2. Uh, level 2. It's average level, I guess we can go off that. Uh, Lancer EXP gives a bonus 20% to Lancers, and so on and so forth. Uh, we've got a level 4, it's not going to matter too much. We'll do with just our main units now, and I'll fix up everyone else later on. See the stats get decently big. There are these things called growth growth curves, which change the how fast a servant grows. I don't really think the mechanics are that important in this game uh, for this particular playthrough. If we can snag a gene. Oops. 
would be nice. Let's go. <laughs> this one happens to be on fire. Slightly disrupted. Slightly disrupted the history and turned a, a, a city into fucking a fiery horror hellhole. Lapless. Oh, Christ. Lapless demon, of course. Uh, this is... Lapless specifically were... Specifically, re I believe it refers to a device that is outside of time. I'm not sure if that's a proper requirement, but the main requirement is that it so strongly knows the present, past, and boundary conditions of the universe that it can use those to accurately predict the future. Uh, this is not the same as uh, this. This is the plot of the original Fate Star Night game, which happened in Fugi City, I believe. But uh, this particular war isn't the same war as the one in. Fate Stay Night, although there are a fair few common servants, one way or the other, to that, that war. Sort of weird that a single... No, I guess it makes sense, thinking about it. Um, given what the Grail is in the Fuki Grail War. Uh, and given who ultimately is control of it in this timeline, it could very well spell the end of the world. It's weird seeing these tips in English. It keeps spinning me out. I'm very used to them being in Japanese and me not understanding what they say. Oh, uh, we do have an answer, so this should be child's play. It's generally a good idea. Mm, that's a bit wrong. It can be a good idea to sort of synergize units. In this case, I've sort of cobbled together a uh, decent based team. Um, crit based teams can be quite strong. This crit based team is not quite strong. It's decent. It'll do. That should... Maybe? Oh, seven. That sucks. Again, this isn't hard. You could just do anything and you would win, but... So uh, the reason I'm splitting up the units like this is an old habit uh, from when I had a lot more powerful units. If you do like two units in a row like this, he will always attack the same person and overkill that person. Whereas if you split it up like this, first, second, third, uh, if the first attack kills the first person, the second attack will move on to the next person. And so on and so forth. Okay. This is quite a long game. Really. Uh, not now. I mean, well, now it's a decently long game. But by the time we get to where Japan is, as you can see, this delicious overflow is helping us out. We got two from a start dash, that means we can 
do a quick and just want to give me that delicious SSR. Come on. Oh, give me G notes. Oh, 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 it's a gold. It's a gold. It's, um, it's the uh, Marie. It's like Martha, rather. Martha. Okay. Cool. Uh, Martha is not awful. Well, I've never actually used her, but, you know, she's got certain assets. Her name is Martha. Just call me Martha. Uh, that's... I believe should be... My name is Saint Martha. But just call me Martha. Protection of the Faith is... Okay, HP up. HP up. So she's a sustain. She's got divinity. Uh, Buster damage to wall. And... Defense up. Okay, she's... A bit of a weird one. Arts based... She might go in decently with uh, Emia, so that's fine. But uh, being arts based, having a lot of arts units together, having a lot of buster units together, having a lot of quick units together, tends to work out well as a rudimentary strategy. Uh, there are better strategies out there, but as a sort of bare bones thing, it's decent. Uh, she's, she's solid. It's nice having a rider. Um, we will put her directly onto our friends list. Which will make people more likely to get a uh, get do a uh, go after us. I'm not going to use her for just now. It again, you do not get the XP from using units in battle, only from only from like fusing XP cards and other cards into them. So I'm I'm pretty fine to just do things this way, like keep using these three. Uh, and I can just switch over to the other party when I want by farming a bunch of EXP. And I think it's fun using an all, uh, all silver party. Uh, there is in the top left corner before you get into a battle, uh, icons that tell you what you're going to be fighting. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is do this on this guy, which will almost definitely kill him, although I think I've got quick cards. Arts cards are stronger, and I'm not sure that Q is going to kill him with just these two, so I'm going to go with an Arts card. And we'll go with, uh... Oh no, it, it killed him. Oh my god, three left. Uh, but, but yeah, I was relying on the first unit to die, and for the archer to back him up and kill. Uh, he's getting MP from these sort of overkill hits. So it is worthwhile to overkill enemies that are the final person in the uh, lineup. Hmm. It's probably the best way to do this. We should kill him and also get us an extra hit on Skeleton B. Although he is now nah, too strong. Didn't matter which order we did it in, in that case. We'll finish. We'll, we'll do a lot more damage next turn because we've got 24 critical stars. Uh, let's go for a critical buster with this chick. By using that, she should definitely get yeah, 100% stars. So we've got one crit. That crit will kill him. This crit will kill him. And this will kill him. Come on. Best laid plans in Western Man. It worked. It didn't crit at the end, but hey, it worked. So there's little bits of... This isn't the stra underlying strategy of this game, though. No. Uh, these enemies are also incredibly weak. The underlying strategy in this game is who you choose to um, set up in parties. Like, the execution of those parties tends to be quite easy. I like seeing her blush. She's cute. I like seeing her angry. She's got a deceptively large breasts. Just, I, I reckon if you just, I just love to check, you know. Hmm. 
Here we go. We haven't actually used one yet because the enemies have been too weak to do so, and we're a quick space team, not a uh, noble phantasm based team. Quick base teams are quite strong. I would, I would say that critical base teams, rather than quick base teams, I guess, critical base teams can be the strongest uh, of any any setup, but they're also the most difficult to set up. Uh, I used a, a, a team with a chick called uh, Quetzalcoatl and uh, a dude called... I'm not gonna... maybe not... maybe don't spoil who that dude is. Um, a dude who did Buster Up and a Berserker who did Buster Up and a... Um, with a Mystic Codex allowed me to switch team members with a... Um, Saber that did a particularly high amount of attack up and I'd switch him around and do a three buster turn that would do just ridiculous damage to the enemy using crits uh, from CEs generated by CEs and um, this is all way in the future stuff it's not important for now what's important is we've got a team that works and we've got a team that works in a way that I don't necessarily want to jump in and use my golds Although, uh, I do have a decent arts team sitting there, uh, which I will... Yes, thank you. Thank you for this useless fucking bronze EXP. Uh, level 2 still. If I were going to make another team out of what I had, I pop over to here, I would definitely go Emiya, her... I hate how every lineup has support in... I don't like using the support, generally. I, I like working off my own merits. Ah, uh, we don't have enough. It'd be this. This would be my arts team that I'd use for the moment. Uh, it's gonna bitch a bit hurt. But we, we don't have the um, weight to do it anyway. I could get to master level, like, 20 very easily, very quickly, by doing... Uh, the daily quests, there's sort of the main story, and then there's side missions on the main story map. And then finally there's Chaldea Gate, which has daily quests, which are basically gathering resources. Uh, gathering EXP for certain classes. Gathering re uh, ascending materials for classes. Although I think this is also the, the weird fucky one that also has skill gems, but that should go away. And gathering QP. Um. But this will probably do it for this episode, gentlemen. I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for uh, playing with me.